cutting out the first 15 seconds of my videos and I have no idea why. It's just like doing it and so I, uh, I'm gonna like try to trick it a little bit and I'm adding 15 seconds of excess and I'm gonna see if it just like matches up naturally. So I'm gonna, I'm getting you this time, damn it. So with that said, my friends, we get to take on our first boss fight today. It's gonna be, it's gonna be awesome. I love this encounter. <laughs> He's so excited for it. He's like, send me in, Jerome! Even though my name's not Jerome, but, you know. <laughs> he has no idea what he's getting himself into, but I do. We get to fight with Ripper Roo today, and I love that guy. Dude. Ripper Roo is the dog. It's it's a very easy encounter, even though his face makes you think otherwise, because he's out of his damn mind. And he's apparently reading Crash the graphic novel. So, yeah, dude, this guy's crazy. It's, it's weird. Like, I don't know where he learned the ability to harness you know, spawning TNT boxes out of just hitting the ground with his cane, or making nitro boxes show up by just slapping his feet on the ground. I mean, dude, imagine, imagine the usefulness he would have on a battlefield. We're like, all right, so we don't need guns anymore. We're just going to have this crazy guy, we're just going to have this crazy dog with a mustache jump around on the ground and we'll just have him lay explosives everywhere, and the opposition will have no idea. I mean, if you think about it, he does have a degree in Rue, which I'm gonna guess if if that were a degree were to be for anything, it would be probably in witchcraft. <laughs> it's just something. And apparently he had Minecraft on the brain. You. So yeah, I mean this 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 entire encounter it's very easy. It's just it's all about positioning. It's all about knowing where to stand. As long as you know where to stand, this is probably one of the easiest boss fights of all time. And if, I mean, if, but if you don't know where to stand, it can be very frustrating in the beginning, but there's really, it's, it's a pretty easy one to learn. It really is. And then after just three encounters, give him the old twisty twist, and he'll slap his face on the ground. <laughs> uh, I love it. Look at how big that stool is. Oh my god. This is an awesome library, though. Like, imagine how relaxing it must be to have that waterfall back there. I totally want one of those for this office right here, except for the fact I'd be flooding everything. And I would have probably electrocuted myself by now with all of the, uh, you know, surge protectors and open sockets everywhere. Be a pretty bad idea. I'd be like Marv from Home Alone 2 with my hair just like... <laughs> and turning my body into a skeleton. Peru failed to prove much of a challenge yet again. Neo, can I seriously just, like, call in, like, a dentist appointment for you so they can figure out your whole crazy underbite-looking thing? <laughs> like, I know your teeth are matching up, but your bottom lip is just, like, really protruding out there, and it's making me really uncomfortable. And maybe, uh, maybe order you, like, a subscription package for Rogaine? At least somebody gets it. She's like, Crash, what are you doing, man? Like, why are you teaming up with him? Like, that's not a not a very good idea. It's totally ill-advised. But that's okay. He's just like, whatever. I'm, I'm already doing it. I might as well just keep going. Okay, so welcome to the next area. We can do snow stuff now, or at least it's all snow-themed. And there's a little secret here. Not like we really need it, because we've got 31 lives, but... This little, uh, this little awesome polar bear guy over here, <laughs> if you uh, go and abuse him for a while by jumping up and down on him, you're going to get yourself a nice little prize. So I'll show you what happens if you do it long enough. Yeah! Free lives! It's like, it's like we sacrificed a cat and he just like gave us all of his lives, plus one more for, for our troubles. So let's go get down to business in snow biz. Yeah, man, I'm I'm in a really good mood today. I just had a uh, barbecue burgers with uh, with some pineapple on it. Oh, it was the spot with like Swiss cheese. Oh, it was it was it was the balls, or or whatever you want to, whatever you want to whatever you want to call it. It's just it's it was good. Oh boy, there's a lot of ice out here. Natty ice. Ah, I actually I hate natural ice. It's a terrible beer. <laughs> there's a lot of terrible beers out there, but that's got to be one of the worst. Like that and like Milwaukee's best. And, uh, and hams, can't forget hams. And, you know, even though I'm partial, I'm partial to it just by the fact that it shares my name, I'm gonna go right ahead and say that Foster's is, uh, you know, being Australian for beer is not necessarily a good thing because Foster's beer is not very good. 
And I feel bad, like, I really, I really wish that it was, because, man, if, if Foster's beer was good, I would drink a lot of that. But it's not. <laughs> it was one of the first beers I ever had when I, when I turned 21. And I was like, I was like, this is what all the hubbub was about, huh? Man, what a raging bummer this is. Not a raging boner, but just a raging bummer. That's that's like your that's like your bummer surplus. It's really bad. So yeah, other than the burgers though, I mean the White Sox finally won today, so I can feel good about my life there. And the Red Sox lost. So I mean like not not like no offense, because I do have some uh, oh boy. I do have some friends that are uh, that are Red Sox fans, and you know, but naturally I'm on the other side of the clothes hamper here, so I, I, I definitely cannot, I cannot be the kind of guy that's enjoying what the uh, the Red Sox are doing with themselves. So you know, I gotta, I, oh! nope, nope, I'm not gonna do it, I'm not gonna do it. Okay, I guess I am gonna do it. Ugh. I was just like waiting for that stupid little thing to go away, but he was just not having any of it. He knew, he knew what was in my heart at the time. He's like, I know, I know you're waiting for me to go by, but I'm not going to let you do it. Yeah. Oh, ow. <laughs> that would hurt. If I was that seal right there. Speaking of seals, actually, I was watching, uh, I was watching America's Funniest Home Videos earlier while I was eating, and I've come to the conclusion that that show is awful now. Like, I'm not saying that it was great when I was younger, but it was way better when Bob Saget was doing it. Because, like, some of the videos that people are submitting now, they're so stupid. Like, um, there was, like, like one of the videos that, that like, made the, the top three was a girl that was, like, you know, sitting on the couch and just crying her eyes out because she got a retweet from uh, Justin Timberlake's Twitter account, which it probably wasn't even him. Like, I know that he, he definitely uses his account, but, like, somebody, like, that she, like, apparently her tweet got retweeted, by his account, so she was, like, losing her crap over it. Like, she was having, like, a, you know, is every, is my life even happening right now? Like, is this real? Oh! <laughs> oh, look at the pile of apples. They're all gone. We're gonna go get them again. Uh, but yeah, and, like, I'm sitting here thinking, like, how is that, like, it's not even funny. Like, her just, you know, getting all, like, cry over it. Like, it's not even funny that way. And, like, it wasn't even a th I'll bet it was probably one of those things where he was just, like, going up and down, like, just down a, a huge list of tweets and just hitting retweet on all of them. So it's not like he's like, oh, man, that's, like, the coolest thing I've ever read. I must retweet it now, type of thing. But, like, that's what we view as funny sometimes these days. Oh, boy. Boy, this is going to be tricky. I like that his eyeballs stayed intact right there, by the way. Okay, here we go. We're gonna we're gonna get it this time. I'm feeling good about it. I'm feeling very good about it. I probably shouldn't, but I do. Um, and there was like another one of like a it was like a little kid. Or, like he was probably like I think he was probably like five or six years old. And he was like under he was like under his bed, and he was like talking about how he took his brother's iPod into the bathroom, and like and then he just starts laughing just like uncontrollably. And it's like what the hell is funny about that? Like. I just oh boy, come on, come on, yeah, there we go. That's what I was trying to do the whole damn time. Um, but the one that I was actually thinking about that reminded me of seals because you're probably like, what the hell's the correlation between you know Justin Timberlake iPods and seals? Well, um, there was one video that was it was like one of the only ones that was no. Damn it. Please tell me I don't have to go through the bonus thing again. I'm gonna have to go through the bonus thing again. I can just, I just know it already. I know it's coming. Whoa. Here it comes, my friends. We hit the, we hit the low spot. We hit the very, very low spot here. Um, there was so the one, that, the one that was funny. It was, uh, it was like this girl. It was like this, uh, this guy and his girlfriend. They were at the. Oh! Great. They were at the beach, and there were, like, seals all over these rocks, and she's just kind of sitting there hanging with them or whatever, and there's these two of them, like, right behind her, and, uh, she didn't even notice it, but all of a sudden you just hear this, and, uh, she, like, she gets startled by it, and she runs away, and, like, you look down, and you can just see, like, both of the seals just totally evacuated their buttholes, and, like, 
there was just like liquid diarrhea just sprayed all over the rocks. It was so nasty. But it was mad funny. Ah, no! These stupid ice levels, man. It's driving me nuts. I hate this level so much. We're gonna be get, we're gonna get it though. We're gonna be fine. We're, we're gonna be fine. I I can't promise that because then I'd be a politician because I'd be lying to you. There we go. Uh, but yeah, dude, it was it was mad funny, but it was it was oh no oh no oh boy. Whew. Well, I'm making this way harder on myself. Oh no! Just move, man. I hit the button for him to slide, but he wouldn't do it. Uh, and then we've lost like five lives in a row. Because why not, you know? Why wouldn't we lose five lives when we have 36 of them? Okay, we're good. We're gonna be good now. I'm not even gonna worry about picking up the stupid apples this time. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Alright. Oh my god, I don't even know how I got away from that. I was just like bending over like, yeah, if you're gonna, if you're gonna stab me, get me right there. Right in the old back fat. Oh, sick. Okay, we don't have to go do it again. I'm so down with that. Yes. Yes. All right. I don't know if we actually got that life or not. I think we actually, like, shoot it away. Like, yeah, I don't want it. What's the benefit of this? What's the point? It's like, yeah, we're gonna... We're gonna set up this, uh, this little revolving wheel thing. This is, we're, we're building rough drafts of half pipes for, uh, for when skateboarding becomes a thing, like, 200 years from now. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh, there we go. There we go. Now, now we're good. I love that all these penguins are just like, they're just sailing down to their deaths down here like, We're gonna get you! <laughs> they're just gone. Brother! I will avenge you, brother! Cousin! I will avenge you! <laughs> they're just like all dying down there. There's been a crazy string of penguin-related deaths going on lately, and we cannot explain why, but we think it's attributed to this one trench in the snow in the in the snow pits area. In the snow biz, not snow pits. Snow pits would have been way too normal of a uh, of a title for a level. Oh, okay. Let's do air crash real quick. Let's let's at least try to salvage this in in a in a small way because <laughs> we we spent way too much time in there. <coughs> Oh, yeah. I'm all about these levels. You guys know that. Gotta get my California on again. I actually really want to go to California soon, man. I haven't been... The last time I went was for less than uh, l less than uh, happy circumstances. Actually, no, I take that back. The last time I went down there was for, uh, was, for my, was for my grandma's birthday, actually. And it was awesome. The time before that was the time that was really bad. Uh, but yeah, we went down there. It was for... Uh, for her birthday, and we got <laughs> for her present, we got her uh, her age equivalent in scratch it tickets. It was awesome. <laughs> like we spent a really long time watching her open those things, but she actually made some decent money out of that. So I mean, dude, if I'm turning like 90 years old, get me like 90 scratch it's. I'm super down with that. Like I mean, if I end up, you know, I could end up winning a crazy amount of money with that. Oh come on, come on, come on. There we go. That's, I guess that's better than nothing. There we go. I love that he's actually got like the muscle strength that he was able to tilt that thing backwards and oh boy, he was actually able to tilt that thing sideways and do like a little, uh, a little almost like a heel clicker with it. Okay, here we go. We're gonna get it. We gonna get it up here in the trees again. Oh shoot. Okay, let's see if we can do this. I hate this one. This is one I always end up messing up. No! Oh, I can never mind. We're good. We're good. I was thinking I was thinking of a totally different scenario there for some reason. I think it was actually one in I was thinking of a uh, Crash 3. There was actually there was a or in Crash Bandicoot Warp, you can whatever whatever you want to call it. Um, it was uh, a one like that where you had to you had to sh you use like the fruit bazooka and you had to shoot uh, one of those little exclamation box things. Holy smokes. Look at that! Look at that! I love having little things like that where, like, you just you hit the jump and you just get the entire little St. Louis arch of, of apples. 
it just, I don't know, it makes you, it kind of makes you feel good, like, yeah, I totally did it. There we go. So, oh, I, oh man, I, I was going to tell you guys about this. I was actually going to tell you about it a couple of videos ago, but I totally forgot. Um, do I want to do it? I don't want to do it yet. I'm not going to do it. <laughs> I, it's just not a good idea. I've died way too much, and having a platform that explicitly exists, <laughs> It explicitly says, pretty much, you are going to die if you go on this thing. I'm not going to do that right now. I'll do it later. I think we've surrendered enough deaths today. Um, I was going to tell you about this dream I had the other night, dude. It was, it was actually, it was, it was terrifying. Here we go. Come on, come on. I have an idea. I totally have an idea. <gasps> oh, oh, oh no! Oh, I got myself off of this stupid thing. Oh no! Yep, I have an idea. I know how we can do that. I know what to do. <laughs> Why was he dead there? He was just floating. He's like, eh, you know, I'm just, I'm just hanging out here. No big deal. Oh, I don't have the guy anymore, though. Crap. All right, well, so much for that idea. I was going to say, give me the little tiki mask guy, and we'll go through this thing, and we'll take a hit on that mine, and we'll jump up on the platform, and everything's going to be all hunky-dory, but it's... Apparently, at this point, it's going to be neither hunky nor dory. At this, We're just going to have to... Take a take a loss there. Oh boy! Oh wow! <laughs> I don't know how I how I threaded the needle on that, but we totally did. Uh, but yeah, dude, I had this dream last night. Well, it wasn't last night. It was a couple days ago, where I was uh, apparently I was I was in I was in a building in Chicago, and I it was like I was up towards like the top floor, and it was like an office building or something like that, and. I was up in the building, and all of a sudden the building caught fire, and like it spread really quickly, and so like I ended up ha I ended up getting stuck in a corner, and like the uh, the the uh, fire department got there, and so they started evacuating everybody, but like they kept going to everybody that was like further out, like further in the building, and like they it was like the, it, like they knew that I was there, but they were like actively ignoring me, like. Like, they were all looking at me as they were running by, but nobody was acknowledging that I, I needed help. Like, they knew I needed help, but they just weren't doing it. And so, like, they kept, they went and evacuated everybody out of the building, and as they were taking the last person out, they looked at me, smiled and waved, and ran out the building. And I was just left there to die. Like, it was, it messed me up really bad, because, like, I just sat there, and, like... Like, it was one of those kind of, like, paralysis type of things where, like, I wanted to get up and run. Like, in my own mind, I was like, man, you got to get out of there. But I couldn't do it, and so I was just, like, stuck sitting there in the building as it, you know, like, the fire kept getting worse and, like, the smoke kept getting worse. And I slowly saw my vision start to cloud, and I, and, like, as it started going white, I ended up, like, waking up in a cold sweat. And I was like, why? Why did they forsake me? Dude, it was, oh, it scared the living hell out of me. Like, it was really not tight at all. So, yeah, dude, it was it was weird. Like, I hate those super real dreams like that. And it was weird because I didn't, like, the thing, that's, the thing that spurred the whole thing before we finished this episode, the thing that spurred the entire thing was right before I went to bed, my dad and I were talking about the Chicago White Sox back in uh, 2005. We were, like, talking about when they won the World Series, and we were trying to figure out who their third baseman was, and the last thing that I said to anybody before I went to bed was I ran into the room and I was like, Dad, I remember who it was. Their third baseman was Joe Creedy. He was the guy. And he's like, oh, yeah, it totally was him. And I was like, all right, I'm going to bed now. And he's like, all right, I'll see you tomorrow. And I went into my room and I fell asleep, and that was my freaking dream. All because of that. Unbelievable. <laughs> I hate it. Ugh. What a way to have your dreams unfold because of something like that. So, when we come back on the next episode, my friends, we are going to... We're going to grin and bear it. And then after that, we're going to go crush some crash. And then if we have enough time, it's going to be the eel deal. So until then, my friends, this is your host, AMF1534, saying thank you guys for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye, everybody.